Hi everybody. We are on day three of our e-learning. I hope that you guys are getting this figured out. Um, I look a little rough. It's like 1030 at night. Um, it's a learning experience for me, just like you guys. And I hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, I've talked to a couple of you. I've seen a couple of people, which warms my heart because I do miss you. Um, things are a little, little crazy in everybody's lives right now, but they're good. It's good to be home sometimes. It's good to learn new things. I would love to hear from you all. Tell me what you've been up to. What have you been doing? Um, I have done laundry, went to the gym until it closed. Um, I've been in sweats or leggings for every day we've been off. Um, my hair's been up in a ponytail, very little makeup. Sorry, I wish. Oh gosh, YouTube needs to filters. Um, just trying to enjoy life and go along as best we can as daily things change. I just watched a Father Mike YouTube video um, about, hi Madison, look there's my kids here too, go away. <laughs> um, anyway, lots of family time, which is cool, I've had more time to cook, my, doing lots of work, uh, this e-learning is like being a new teacher all over again, it's really hard to not have you guys in front of me and be able to ask you questions. Anyway, back to Father Mike. Um, that was interesting because you guys know how much I love him. And what he was saying about what can we do. Um, I still every day wake up and said I'm grateful, which is cool because Father Mike says that's the number one thing we have to do. Be grateful. And number one thing is to be grateful that, that we're not the government having to make decisions um, that can hurt businesses, hurt the economy. Um, hurt people and that we are not the bishops for Catholics um, who've had to make the tough decision to close masses in order to protect um, those who are more vulnerable. He said be very grateful for that. Second thing he says do what we can um, in terms of reaching out to people, um, saying our prayers, that sort of thing and if we know that people need help then maybe you know if we can visit them or speak to them um how do we use our influence you know on social media and things like that instead of being scared and being negative and being critics to be better just be more christ-like be loving be kind to people and to pray oh my gosh pray 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 which I've been having you guys do some daily scripture every single day. And I expect that every single day. As Catholics, uh, we don't have mass right now. Um, that's a little tough because as Catholics, the Eucharist is, is central to who we are and what we believe. And he gave some advice on that. He said, if your church doors aren't closed, just go spend some time in the church praying um, in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And he even suggested, if the churches are closed, go sit in the parking lot. He said, the church is a great big tabernacle. Uh, and we can also do this thing called um, the Liturgy of the Hours that priests are required to pray. And you can find it online. That's if you want to. All in all, just be, be the best people God created you to be. And I miss you. And I can't wait to see your faces again. I cannot wait to hear what you've been up to. I want to know if you've learned something new. Um, just tell me the good stuff. Let's just keep in touch. Have a great day today. Get your work done. So that way you can lounge and just watch TV or play video games. Or I think it's supposed to rain. But who knows? If it's warm, go play in the rain. Peace out. I'll see you guys later.